Here's my goal for the next week, or a couple weeks probably. Road's gonna come right through here, right through the middle of that barn, and so they're moving it, but they don't want the tin. I could use that tin up in my place in Alaska, so I'm gonna climb up there in the middle of winter, pull all that tin off, somehow get it down to the ground without bending it, and then get it shipped up to Alaska. Should be an adventure. Backside's considerably steeper than the front. I don't think you could stand on it even in the summer. Certainly not in the winter. I do have this man lift to use. I've never actually used one, but uh, no time like the present to figure it out. I didn't have keys for the man lift. I figured I'd just climb up on the less steep side, pull the ridge cap off, hook onto a truss, and then use that to anchor myself in place. What I didn't realize was how slick tin is, especially with a light coating of snow, which you can see falling in the background. About halfway up, I figured this was a really bad idea. So then I gingerly worked my way back down, basically using the few screw heads that were there as toe and finger holds. I made it back to the ladder and it stayed in place. Definitely don't want to be on slick tin. It's not a lot of fun. Eventually I got the keys to the man lift. I started by pulling off the ridge cap. It sure is convenient to be able to sit in a cage and do all that work up high. It only took me an hour and a half or so to get the ridge cap off. This work was a little hard on the knees, but it went pretty quick. I couldn't complain at all. It was way better than being on a slick tin roof. All right, got the ridge cap off. You can see that roof looks plenty slick with that frost on there. The next step was to remove all the screws except the top and the bottom. I could do this without any help. It'd make things go a lot faster when I had help on the ground. I'd remove as many screws as I could, and then I'd just move the man lift to the next section of screws. It was pretty slick. An hour and a half a bucket of screws later, I'd made it to the other edge of this roof. Then I just dropped down to the bottom and work my way back to the other end. Not real difficult, but kind of monotonous. Once I got all those screws out, the sun came out enough to dry off the south-facing slope roof. I was still a little gun-shy from the morning's experience, but with the dry roof, it wasn't too bad to work on at all. I did the same thing, except I didn't have to use the man lift. I did use the man lift as an anchor for my rope. I could do two rows of screws at a time and just work my way from east to west. Every once in a while I'd have to empty a patch of screws. The only other thing to really be careful of was not to step on the ridges. If you do, you'll dent them. I dented a couple, but that's the way it goes sometimes. Eventually, I made my way to the west end of the roof. Well, I came really close to finishing her out, but my battery died with like five rows left. I went down and got it, but I got snow on my shoes, and that snow turned to ice and it froze. And then there's a little sheet of ice on that tin and it is slick so i'm just gonna have to call it here even though i don't want to and we'll come back and finish it on a sunny day that's gonna be a good time the next day i had to work on it, it wasn't exactly sunny but it was the day i had and i had a helper I figured I'd start with the north side, where I could use the man lift. Once I got all the top screws out, 
Then I just swept the snow off the roof. Not as warm as it looks. My plan was to remove the bottom screws and then use the man lift to drop the tin to the ground. Not quite as easy as I pictured in my mind. What? Clearly, I'm still a novice operator. After that first piece of tin, I just ended up pulling off the bottom screws. And then I'd use my head to support the tin and then just lower it to my son on the ground. I don't really make it look easy. Not sure exactly why the lights are going out. After a few pieces of tin, we got a method worked out and it went really fast. Only took about two hours to get all the tin off the north side. When you don't take all the screws out, get left with a piece of tin up on top. It looked pretty good once we had all the tin off there. It's not steep, so soon, I think that snow's going to slide today. Get some sun on it, it'll go. We were hoping we could take a lunch break, and when we got back, the south side of the roof would be completely free of snow. It takes a little longer for it to clear, just because it's not as steep. But the sun heats it up pretty good. When we came back from lunch, there was still plenty of snow. Had to try and figure out how to get it off. Started with a broom, but that didn't work very well. Right, pull! Pull! Got any? The next thing we tried was a tire with two ropes. We figured if we could pull that tire back and forth, we might be able to knock some of that snow off. It was a lot of work. I wouldn't say it was particularly effective. When we left for the day, there was a few more clear patches, but it definitely wasn't free of snow. The next morning, it didn't really look good either. So I didn't really have a choice but to climb up on top and just sweep that snow off. It was more sweeping than I'd done in a long time. Fortunately, it was a pretty sunny day, and so the wet spots dried out pretty rapidly. But standing on those wet spots to push heavy snow was a little disconcerting. Once we got all the snow off, then I just undid the few remaining screws. And then I just started handing it down to my son who was at the bottom. The big snow banks at the bottom actually did us a favor because it allowed us to be able to rest the tin against the edge of the roof. There was actually a pretty good grip on that roof but I'm still kind of a chicken, so I used a rope for the whole process. Once we got a rhythm going, that tin came off the roof pretty quick. We got a late start because we were waiting for the snow to melt off the roof, so we only had about two hours to work. Sun is going down. What was water is now ice. There's no reason to be up here anymore. And in about two, two and a half hours, we got about half of the, about half of the roofing off of here. Not too bad of a day. We'll take it. A couple of days and another snowstorm later, I was back on the roof. At least I had a sunny day. It only took about another 20 minutes or so to get this roof swept clean. Not too bad. I must be getting good at it. Another 10 minutes or so to get the screws out that I didn't get out on that frosty day. And then we were just about ready for the last of the tin to come off the roof. This last part, I was just kind of making it up as I went along. It looked like this was the order they put the tin on, so it seemed like a good way to take it off.
All in all, it only took us about an hour to get the last of this tin off once I started actually pulling the pieces. I wasn't exactly sure how I was going to get back to the basket once I got the tin off, but like most things, I figured I'd just make it up as I went along. And just like that, the last piece of tin was on the ground. That was a major burden off my mind. I'd promised the gentleman that I'd have the roof off as quick as I could. The whole rest of the project was waiting on me. I hate having something like that hang over my head, so this felt really good. I borrowed a truck and trailer and got it hauled someplace where it would be safe and dry until I had a chance to use it. Having an extra hand here really helped. With any luck, the next time I have to move this tin will be when I'm putting it on my Alaska house. My cameras take a little bit of abuse. Although of all the falls they could have had, that was about the least traumatic possible. This major find is going to go a long ways towards making the homestead dream a reality.